How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be talking about VPNs and how you can find yourself a good VPN. Of course, you don't have to do any of that research. I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own preferences and your own budget, of course. Now, the question is, can a VPN be hacked? So there are a few ways that a VPN can be hacked. Of course, hackers can break a VPN's encryption and steal personal data. Although complex and expensive when attempted on a premium VPN, it's much easier for hackers to break your VPN's encryption if it doesn't use advanced security measures. Uh, for example, AES and RSA encryption will make it almost impossible for hackers to access your data. And the best VPNs will use that kind of encryption, which is why I have these three right here. And encryption keys can encode and decode data, which is why hackers focus on stealing keys to bypass your VPN's encryption and intercept your data instead of decrypting your data. Uh, hackers don't require advanced software with an encryption key and can see, steal, and even alter your information. And despite encryption keys being unique and unpredictable, hackers are consistently finding new ways to access your data, leaving you no choice but to protect yourself and encrypting your data using a reliable VPN. Now, VPNs that have IP or DNS leaks make it easy for hackers to steal information. So you must make sure they're using a reliable VPN with a solid and safe server infrastructure. And hackers will often test VPNs as I would, searching for vulnerabilities they can exploit. So it's important they use a VPN VPN that uses RAM drives instead of hard drives. And all of these VPNs obviously do. So you've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. And what that means is that there's pretty much no uh, physical drive that's attached to these servers where data can be stored. And uh, whatever little information is stored on these RAM drives will be deleted with every machine reboot. Hackers also steal user logs. So you want to make sure that your VPN does not record any of your logs just in case any of these servers uh, get compromised. So of course, all these VPNs are all uh, independently audited. So uh, they do not keep any logs and they have proof of it in the form of independent audit reports. And what an independent audit report basically is, is when a third party independent audit firm examines the server infrastructure and network and no logs policy or privacy policy of the VPN in order to verify that they do uphold the uh, no Locks policy and that they protect the integrity and privacy of uh, their user base instead of collecting data logs. And the server infrastructure and privacy policies of these VPNs have been repeatedly verified via multiple independent audits. Now, how do you choose a secure VPN that's near impossible to hack? You need a VPN with AES 256 bit encryption. You need to also find a VPN with either OpenVPN or ICAF2 protocols. You also want to find a VPN with SHA2 authentication. And SHA2 is the latest and most secure authentication available today, allowing you to receive information free of trackers and malware. And many VPNs utilize SHA2 authentication to keep you safe when sending and receiving data. However, there are variations of SHA authentication I wouldn't recommend due to being hacked a plethora of times in the past, which is SHA1. Uh, but all these VPNs do support SHA2 and their latest protocols or the proprietary protocols such as lightweight UDP right here uh, with ExpressVPN. It's super safe. You have NordLynx, which is the WireGuard based protocol with NordVPN, making NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN in the business. And of course, you have OpenVPN uh, options right here. And with Surfshark, you do have the WireGuard protocol, which is going to be the best performing protocol with Surfshark. And you do have OpenVPN options as well. Uh, and depending on your version that you're using, Using, you might also get ICAP2. And of course, I already mentioned that a good VPN will run their servers on RAM drives, and all these VPNs do run their servers on RAM disks instead of hard disks. Uh, you want to also test the VPN's IP address and DNS leak protection. And after many tests, of course, you can find the full reviews down below for all the information uh, on privacy policies, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security features. But with regards to IP and DNS leak protection, these VPNs do wonders and you know I've been using them for over a couple of years and I've been testing them over and over again and not even once did I get 
any kind of uh, DNS or IPv6 leaks. Uh, so they're great VPNs overall. And I mean, they're the top three VPNs for a reason. And of course, they all do have no locks policies and they have all the features that you need to keep you secure, such as the kill switch and split tunneling. Of course, the kill switch will stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, preventing any rare IP leaks in case the VPN gets disconnected. It will just kill your internet connection until you connect to the VPN again. And that's with ExpressVPN. You also get the split tunneling feature, which will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not, which can be a very useful feature. And of course, a handful of protocols. And right here, as you can tell, you can prevent IPv6 address detection while connected. Uh, and there's nothing else that you want to mess with right here in these settings. So with NordVPN, you get the bonus feature right here uh, called Threat Protection, which will act as an ad blocker, a malware blocker, and a mini antivirus uh, that will scan your files before they download and harm your device. And with Surfshark, you do get a mini version of the Threat Protection, which is just a small ad and malware blocker called CleanWeb. And of course, you also get the Kill Switch, a few protocols, Bypasser, which is the same thing as Split Tunneling, and a couple of features that will help you uh, bypass censorship if you're in a censorship heavy uh, country uh, but with nordvpn obviously you're going to get way more features uh, it's a very well-rounded feature heavy vpn uh, you know you've got specialty servers threat protection mesh net dark web monitor if you go to the settings you have custom dns for an easy way to change your dns uh, you have the kill switch an app kill switch and split tunneling and again all these features right here including five types of specialty servers and a whole lot of servers again if you're looking for the full information on these vpns uh, you'll find the reviews down below and if you're interested in getting any of these vpns you'll find these pricing discounts in the description down below if you want to jump straight to that and they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can test drive these vpns for 30 days risk-free otherwise you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day